I'm here today with John Garcia from North Oaks Middle School, and he is the subject of our spotlight this week, and he's here to talk to you about something really cool and exciting he's doing in his Texas history class. So I'm going to let him kind of give you an overview, and um, we're going to ask him some questions about it. Um, so we, uh, we do a vocabulary, so we're kind of doing a video vocabulary, and the kids are getting the major vocabulary words and they have a green screen so I got a green screen and they project a image up on the green screen they are required to do the book definition three times um, they're required to bring up their own definition three times and then they're supposed to reference the picture three times as well so it's just a very cool way even some of my athletes are getting into it and they just look forward to it and they I'm, I'm enjoying seeing what they do. So, um, why did you s decide, John, to make a change to how you're doing vocabulary with your kiddos as opposed to just the traditional word wall and that sort of thing? I'm going to be completely honest, and you can edit this out, hopefully, <laughs> in case this is really, really wrong for me to say, <laughs> but I do not use a word wall probably the way I really need to. Okay. And this allows me to use a QR code. Um, this allows me to use... Uh, our my YouTube channel mm -hmm. and the kids are always looking at YouTube so why don't they give them something educational to watch on YouTube and watch their friends yeah I, I mean I think what you're doing and, and we're gonna show that um, at the end of this video but it's a um, it's a lot more interactive um, I know that we can interact with the words that are on the wall in our room um, but it's more I feel like it's more interactive in the way that students go about their daily lives Absolutely. anyway. So um, it's it's really cool to watch. So um, what did you need to get started, like tool-wise? Um, talk about, you know, just, you know, how, just how did you start? I just, I just really looked at it and said, if I want to challenge the kids, I need to challenge myself first. And so... Um, talking to you mm -hmm. and saying, hey, we had a couple of extra iPads you could use and taking all the excuses out of my ability to say it, hey, I can't do it. Um, I have a green screen, um, had the app, and then I just kind of said, hey, let's do it. And the kids' creativity is coming out in it and they just, they've enjoyed it. And they look forward to the beginning of each unit because um, I do a movie trailer for the next unit and they see the movie trailer and then they know that we're going to do the vocabulary and you know what here in the next hopefully couple weeks they're taking over the, the process mm -hmm. and I'm just kind of overseeing it. Oh that's that's going to be the best part. So he had a green screen um, that you sort of inherited yes. in your room um, but it's nothing really fancy it pretty much just looks like I'm looking at it right now pretty much just looks like a green sheet so um, it's nothing special you could put one up in your room or paint a paint a wall or use um, something in your maker space at your campus and then um, he used the school iPads well actually you use your you're using your teacher My project innovate project iPad. innovate iPad with hint, the hint. yeah <laughs> with the do ink app and um, other than that just the iGrapher stand yes. you don't have to have one but it does help with stability and again most maker spaces have those so um, it's not really very hard to do um, biggest challenge so far with this project? <laughs> I know you've had a few. Oh my gosh. Um, you got to just tweak it. Um, so I'm learning the process myself and kind of in innovating it as I go. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using Google Classroom um, for them to turn it back into me. Um, I'm using QR code um, creator. Um, and then I'm just, the editing part, it's a little challenging at first. Like mm -hmm. the first couple of times I've done it, it was like an hour, hour and a half process. Mm -hmm. I've gotten it down to about a 20 minute process for each class and, mm -hmm. you know, just to get the, the publish it. So mm -hmm. it's just create it and tweak it and make it better and mm -hmm. we're always going to be better. Yeah. Continuous improvement, people. <laughs> um, biggest reward you think so far is for like your kiddos? Um, I love seeing their creativity. Mm -hmm. Even like my foot, big football players that are in my in the class, they're getting into it and they're just kind of taking it and running with it. Um, they're just they enjoy doing it, mm -hmm. and so I just 
just the fact that they're engaged. And I mean, we're talking about history. I mean, <laughs> you know, just history. So it, it, you know, they're getting they're getting excited about mm -hmm. it. So they're just enjoying it. Do you think they are um, doing a better job about retaining the vocabulary? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know. I'm learning vocabulary when I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just the creativity that they're coming up with, and as they're seeing it and they're 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 looking at it, they're counting how many times that they're they're kind of self grading themselves as well. Because mm -hmm. I have a word counter as they're presenting it. Mm -hmm. um, how many times are, I got a definition counter? I have their own definition counter, and just as everything is coming in, they're listening to it, they're watching, and they're paying attention to it. So mm -hmm. you know. Peer-to-peer -peer teaching, I think that's supposed to be a pretty darn good way of yeah, learning. Yeah, good pedagogy. Okay, um, any advice you would give somebody who maybe was like, oh, you know, they're watching this video, hey, that's a really great idea, and I would like to try that. What what advice might you give them? Just do it. Just um, do it. Just do it. You, you know what? You got so many support systems, not only at your school, but with the district as well. And, um and they're always willing to try and help you out. And there is just, you just gotta try it. If you wanna challenge your kids, then you gotta challenge yourself and become a better teacher. Yeah, I couldn't have said that better. All right, um, you already talked about the time commitment a little bit. Um, so are you gonna continue this? Are you gonna build yes. on this? So, yes. so where do you I'll, see the future of this? Um, I see this as most of my kids have already said, hey coach, we didn't do this in unit one, two, or three. They want an extra credit and wanting to do vocabulary units one, two, and three for me. Go back. So go back and do it. Wow. Um, so they have it for themselves. And then I can always show this for next year. And we already have it going. And the kids next year can create their own. And mm -hmm. so I just see it getting bigger and better. Um, the way I explained it to Rochelle the first time was the Sefrayer model kind of exploded. Um, and that's exactly what they do, just coming to life. Yeah. And I love the way that you explain that it was fair model exploded to your kids when you were very first introducing it to them and he actually walked them through that whole process and then um, compared the the pieces of the fair model to the actual activities and the um, the processes that they were going through to do this and you could just see the little wheels spinning and the light bulbs going off smoke and coming out of the ears smoke coming out of the ears the whole thing yeah <laughs> Well, thank you, John, for uh, letting you. me interview you, and um, thank you for letting me be part of the process, well, I appreciate because um, I'm telling you what, this guy right here, he'll try just about anything. He's brave, <laughs> very, very brave, but um, so yeah, thanks for being with us, and thanks for sharing. Thanks for supporting. Okay. Appreciate it. Bye. I want to make a new law. I want to use my power that I have as president to rule the world. Uh, but ma'am, we have a limited government. So? Yeah. Our power is restricted by laws in our constitution. She's right, ma'am. Where did you even get the constitution outlines a system that is called... Uh... Hmm? Hmm? Say this word. Which word? Federalism. Federalism? Yeah. Okay. Did you know that federalism um, is a form of government in which power is divided between the federal or national government and state governments?
Yes, it's literally right here. Separation of powers, three branches, three powers. Checks and balances, three branches balance each other out. Federalism, divide, national government to state.